Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this HMV Little Nipper transistor, I guess is the model. Now, I don't know a great deal about these old units. This is going to be kind of a new thing for me. So just off camera here, I've actually gone and uh, replaced a few components and basically the issue is that uh, yeah, there's no sound at all. 50s or 60s type radio here, I'm not sure, but uh, it's got the earth on the back here, it's got an external aerial. So on the side here you've got the uh, tone dial, the uh, on and off, then you've got uh, the volume here and uh, the tuner. And that's really all there is to it here. You've got a little light here, two screws on the back. Now I know that these do suffer from issues with the transistors and from the uh, actual capacitors. Those are the ones that I read about. I'll put a link in the description where I got some info about these old radios. If you have a look inside the unit here, you can see that it's got a little baggie here. And this, this has all the uh, components that I've replaced so far. These axial capacitors, they have like a wax over the paper. How these things hold up, I'm not 100% sure. Check this one and I found that it was okay, but I had a spare axial here that you can see that I've um, fitted in there. So that one just here, new one of those. So I actually just replaced it. That didn't fix the problems. So that was really the first thing I tried. So some of these components actually might end up going back into the unit uh, because I've actually replaced some of those uh, axial capacitors. There are a couple more here at the back. Also a few resistors there just uh, underneath the board that I've replaced as well. But So um, yeah, I'll have to test these ones too. So after replacing all those parts, I still had no luck with this thing. So you've got these old connectors. These have these like cylindrical terminals and these actually plug into like the old uh, square Ever Ready batteries. So I think the first thing I want to do here is pull out these transistors. Do So you've got two OC170s, you've got two OC169s at the front here. This is one of the OC170s. These particular transistors are germanium PNPs. They, they actually suffer from tin whiskers, which is something I read about and actually had no knowledge of and cause shorts inside the uh, transistor. There is replacement transistors though for these ones and I found these, I think it was the uh, AF126. So in order to uh, test these transistors, I'm just going to use a my little multimeter here. I'm just going to... So we're going to put this on our diode mode. Now if you pull up the data sheet, you'll be able to tell what's what uh, the base collector and emitter is. So I'm getting a reading there, 3.2. I'm getting a 2.5 reading there. What I'm going to do is just reverse these. And so I'm actually getting a reading on the multimeter, if you can see that. I should be getting a reading on that one. So if we go from collector here to the to the base there, where that's fine, it should be one. But uh, yeah, on this side here, this, yeah, that's a bit of an issue. The other one actually was okay, but I've gone and replaced it anyhow. Powered this on, and again, still getting nothing. I've tested the OC169s here, and they both check out. The next thing to look at is the voltages. Now, what I need is a schematic. I found that the HMV Range Master was pretty much exactly the same. So I'm not sure what the difference between this model is compared to the Range Master, but the board looks identical. And I'll be testing the voltages in a part two. For now, I just really wanted to do a quick test of the unit. So to summarize, what do I think is going on here? Okay, so originally I thought it was something to do with these components. And I needed to replace those components in any case because they look pretty bad. I have a suspicion that maybe it's the transformers. Now, I don't know which one. I'm going to do continuity tests on the transformers and uh, probably end up pulling them out of circuit. Because that'll give me a pretty much clear indication if, these, if there's a problem with these uh, transformers. So I'm going to do that in a part two. Maybe this unit has gotten incorrect polarity through it and maybe done something to the transformer. That's really the only thing that I can think of. Now ask the owner if uh, they've put any different type of batteries and they did mention that they did put a different battery in here. And I don't believe it was a 9 volt. I think it was actually some other type of battery that they've used here. And if they haven't connected this up properly, then um, this may have uh, cooked it. Now, I just want to mention that I've got a stack of new boom boxes. Now, now it's been uh, probably, what, two months or so since I've done 
a video, but I literally have probably maybe 12 or 13 new boom boxes, and some of them are absolute beauties. So expect to see more boom box videos coming, and uh, I've just been really, really busy. So that's it for this episode. I want to thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you on the next project.